Sports. A fourth grader is playing a big role in honoring the birth of our region. 175 years ago, John Sutter helped establish what we now know as Sacramento, and along with it, Sutter's Fort. Live Copter 3 up over the fort right now, just giving you a great shot here. As you can see, people still out there. And today, as Rob Malcolm reports, for the first time ever, a descendant of John Sutter was there to celebrate the Fort's History Day. Keep going. John Sutter came home today. It is one of the most common questions we ever get. What has happened to the Sutter family? Well, now we know that they're alive and well. He looks and sounds just like the founder of Sacramento. I'm Captain John Sutter, and I built this fort to help travelers travel to the West just like you. Ten-year-old Connor is the great, 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 great grandson of John Sutter. I was sort of surprised that he left his family. He wouldn't, like, bring his family. Like, a long time ago, they just would leave their family and sometimes never come back. The fourth grader from Strandwood Elementary School was chosen to portray his relative. It was a uh, no-brainer. It was an amazing opportunity for him to be here. And he wasn't the only student with blood ties to California's gold rush era. We're using tongs. Little Jesse is a descendant of America Kelsey, a pioneer who lived at Sutter's Fort. It's really cool to know the history of my ancestors and what they did and how they lived before me. The two are among dozens of kids participating in an overnight history program. It gives them a better appreciation for how hard people worked and how good we have it now. Uh, I think it's hard. Really? Because there's not a lot of, like, you have to find what you need. You can't just buy it at a store. The 12-week program ends with today's overnight stay. I think this will give an extra, um, something extra knowing that they had a direct descendant of John Sutter here with them. Rob Malcolm, KCRA 3 News. Bit of an interesting full circle there. Well, today's event included some rope making stations, spinning, weaving, and laundry. Kids got to churn out their own butter. <laughs> so there's a little bit that to make them think, oh, you know what? Having a refrigerator is really sweet. <laughs> there you know? is that. Yeah.